Hey everybody, today I have a freaking amazing statue for you guys. This is my favorite Street Fighter character, Ken, from Pop Culture Shock Collectibles, 1 4th scale, premium format statue. This was distributed by Sideshow Collectibles, licensed by Capcom. So here's the front of the box. Here's a side shot of the box. Back description talking about how Ken beat Ryu at the Street Fighter Alpha Tournament and how he gave him the headband. Here's the bottom of the box and it just shows the edition number 56 of 400. So that's pretty cool I got a lower number especially since this came out a couple years back. Always nice to get low numbers. And how could we forget the certificate of authenticity for Ken just showing the number 56 of 400 letting you know this is the real deal. And then it's got Jerry Macaluso's signature there. He is the sculptor and owner of Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. So it's pretty cool to have these things with it. So here it is, everybody. Ken, out of the box, the premium format, one-fourth scale statue from Pop Culture Shock. He's about 17 inches tall, about 8.8 .8 pounds. Not super heavy for a one-fourth scale, which is good. But I said he's premium format, which means that it's a combination of polystone sculpting and fabric cloth. So this is all hand-stitched, hand-cut fabric that's wired so you can maneuver anything you want. Like if you want it blown in the wind like that, or you can leave it down, whatever. Same with throughout the entire gi. It is all wired around the border so you can pose it however you want. And I'll get into more detail on that in about a couple seconds. But... Let's just get a quick overview here. So you can see he's about 17 inches, but if you can't tell from the video, he looks pretty big, so we'll do a quick little size comparisons here. First, we will compare him with one of my other Street Fighter statues, and you might have seen this one in another video. This is Cammy from Soda Toys. This is not Pop Culture Shock Collectibles, but Jerry Macaluso did own this company at one point, and he did sell it off. So. Here is Cammy next to Ken. As you can see, she's basically up to his waist. And his fist alone is like the size of her whole upper body. He is huge compared to her. So another little size comparison. We've got Street Fighter game. Just to give you a little better idea of how big these things are. Everyone knows how big a DVD case is, so it's a good comparison. So basically what this is telling us is Ken is huge. So here's the head slash upper body part of Ken. You might get a better view at how this is cloth and wired. So let's say if you want it open more, you can bend it open. Or if you want it closed, you can... Uh, close it more, bend it whatever way you want. Let's just leave it like that for now. So you can see the sculpt on him is just phenomenal. Jerry did such a good job with this. And you can see the pose he's in. He's got the fist up. He's like, get over here. He's ready to fight, you know. Just really brings Ken to life. Gives him some character, you know. He's not just standing still. Really makes it seem like he just came right out of Street Fighter. His muscles are just humongous. It's almost a bit unrealistic, but it looks so good, though. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Here's a little closer shot of his face so you can see what Jerry did to make this character really seem different than most statues is the eyebrows. They, like, pop off of the statue. That might sound kind of weird, but it really makes it look like Ken just came from the game. So, like, if we maybe turn the angle, you can see that his eyebrows are, like, coming off, sort of. It's it's kind of hard to explain. I've never seen it on a statue like this, but it definitely works well with this Street Fighter line. So you can see there, it's like coming off his face. It looks really cool. And then you can just see him looking like he's ready to fight. He wants to fight. So like I said, there is wires throughout the whole gi and the belt so you can take the belt off and 
bend it around whatever way you want. But we'll take that down for a sec. So you can fix this around, move this out, make it seem like it's blowing in the wind or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. And there is elastic on his pants, so you can move them up or down just a bit to make the bottoms higher or lower without it looking weird. But the abs sculpt on this is just phenomenal. Jerry did such a good job. But I know I'm saying that a lot, but he really did. He outdoes himself every time with these statues. Some people were complaining about their feet in the Street Fighter line, that they're too bony and stuff like that. But I don't have a problem with it. And their toenails especially look really good. It's like glossy sort of. It may not come out on the camera, but it's glossy. It looks like a real nail. It's pretty cool. Very muscular feet. The base is real simple. It's meant to be like a museum style base where if you have them all next to each other, they all look the same because they all have the same similar style of base where it's a circular matte black and it just looks nice. Here is the bottom, just showing that it's Ken, 56 of 400, Pop Culture Shop Collectibles, Street Fighter, Capcom, pretty basic. Thanks guys for stopping by and checking out my video of Ken statue from Pop Culture Shock. Really appreciate all the comments and ratings and all that stuff you guys do. I try to get back to everyone. And hopefully... In the next month or so, I will have a new room tour video up and you will be able to see my whole statue collection displayed in there with all my games and my setup and everything. I hopefully will have that out pretty soon. But thanks again guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video. I know I am enjoying this statue. It looks awesome. Can't say that enough. But I will see you guys in the next video.